All right, let's let's go in this elevator. Hello, everybody. Spooky Sandwoman here. Thank you for checking out episode twenty-six of Undertale. We last episode we fought Metaton, changed his robot body. And Alpheus just dropped the freaking bomb saying that if we want to get home, we're going to have to kill Asgore and take his soul. Because a human soul isn't strong enough. <sighs> also, I've been trying to call Papyrus, but he's not responding and that kind of worries me. Gonna say that's a long elevator ride. Oh man, I'm really nervous. Oh man. Oh look, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Is there anything even this way? I'm going this way anyway. This is long. New home. Mom? It's a golden flower. This is exactly the same layout as Toriel's. Oh. Froggit? A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. Azrael, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Sure. You got the heart-shaped locket. This is weird. I don't know how I feel about this right now. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? No. It's a golden flower. Room under renovations. There's another key. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. It's Asgore's journal. All the current pages says it's nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champs. 98. Oh. Oh. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's a closed door. There are robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. It's a king size bed for king. Macaroni art of a flower for king dad. Despite everything, it's still you. I don't know why this part makes me feel like crying. Can I go down here? You unlock the chain. There's an old calendar from the year, and of a date is circled on it. <laughs> then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request. 
to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azria reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But, Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. He will let us go, will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Holy crap. Is this gonna be the last? I can't go any further. Sans? Oh. oh, don't like church bells. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. Ooh. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. 
The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more, distan the more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. As long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Bye, Sans. Thank you. Throne room. Oh my god. My heart is like beating so fast right now. What's over here? Anything? Oh. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. Dum dee dum. Oh? Is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy! How can I. Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. It's a throne. Okay. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. No one likes the dentist, Asgore. Are you ready? If you were not, I understand. I'm not ready either. Oh, I'm at the end. Whoa! Whoa. This is the barrier. 
This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Continue or go back. I'll continue. I see. This is it then. Ready? And that's where mine goes. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey finally is over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, snibbity! Whoa! Okay, there's no sparing. Holy shit! Oh, Asgore. Oh gosh. Oh no! You quietly tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His hand is trouble for a moment. You tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. It's not what I wanted to do. I thought I had actual food! You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection of flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. I'm gonna die. I. Seems talking won't do any more good. Yeah, that was. That was bound to happen at any point in time. I'm gonna end this episode off here but there is no but I'm just gonna end this episode off here so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed go ahead and leave a like and subscribe share with your friends if they like oh god endings I don't know bye